Let's write a C program to check if the user entered character is a lowercase English alphabet or not using ternary operator. So the general form is shown on your computer screen. If expression 1 is true, then expression 2 gets executed. If expression 1 is false, then expression 3 gets executed. So ASCII character of lowercase a is 97, ASCII character of lowercase z is 122. So whatever is in between these two is lowercase English alphabet, okay? So the ternary operator is the condition. If the character is greater than or equal to 97 and less than or equal to 122, then the then it's a lowercase alphabet. If not, it's not a lowercase alphabet, okay? With that understanding, let's write the C program. So I'll take a character variable. I'll ask the user to enter a character. Any character, by the way. And I'll store it inside the address of variable ch. So now I'll write the conditional operator or ternary operator. So here expression one is the condition. That is, if user entered character is greater than or equal to 97 and user entered character is less than or equal to 122. That means whatever in the range 97 to 122. If that's true, then printf. So character entered is lowercase alphabet. Oops, let me bring this down so that you can check the entire view. Okay, if not, if the condition is false, then this printf gets executed. That is character entered is not a lowercase alphabet. That's it, simple program. It's very easy to use ternary, that is conditional operator or ternary operator. Let me check that. I'll give lowercase a. So character entered is a lowercase alphabet. Let's input new line character for both these statements. Let me save and execute, uh, compile it and execute. So I'll give dollar symbol, which is not a lowercase alphabet, okay? And it's working. Let me give capital letter A. That's not a lowercase alphabet, okay? I'll give number five, which is not a lowercase alphabet. I'll give lowercase z. It's a lowercase alphabet and it's working. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.